Hi guys, and welcome back to another vlogging video. Hey guys, so today I am going to be transferring these black and white nails into these kind of more coppery, sort of steampunk kind of nails. This is going to be quite a quick and simple video, but I'm doing a steampunk um, photo shoot this weekend and I don't really have time to do a whole full new set of nails, so I thought I would just have a bash at doing these. If you want to see how I got this set, that is already up on my channel and yeah, let's get into it. So what I'm going to be using is no wipe top coat, you can use whichever. I'm going to be using this blue sky one and I've got this gold chrome powder, it's a rose gold, so obviously it gives that kind of like pinky coppery effect. I'm going to be using these little pieces here which I do have some of these in stock, but I'm not sure if they're on the website yet, but I do have some of these, so do message me if you are interested in some of these. And a little bit of acrylic, but I will, I'll get into that as we get to it. Sorry about the clippy cloppy of the feet. That is one of my little doggies that is having a little walk about. So let's get into it. Firstly, I'm gonna just go over all these nails with the, the top coat. Now you wanna, I, it's gonna be difficult for me to get this in shot, but. All I'm doing is top cutting these nails. But you do need to make sure that you get it covered, otherwise the um the chrome obviously isn't gonna cover the whole nail. Then I'm going to cure and now I'm going to go in with the chrome powder. So I did these two as like an ombre nail, that one just all the black covered and then that one a full cover. So I'm so sorry if I'm not in shot. It's always the hardest doing your own nails on camera. And I'm basically just gently patting it down as I get further down the nail. you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna get a little bit more and go over the tip a bit more. And then you just get that kind of ombre faded down kind of look going on. And then I'm gonna go in. Just cover this one. I don't wanna cover any of the glitter, so. Am I in shot? I'm not even in shot, am I, guys? I'm so sorry. And I just really liked like the way that it turned out. And then this one's gonna be full cover chrome. Sorry if we're shaking a little bit as well. This is actually going to be covered in like loads of bits and bats, so it doesn't need to be perfect, but obviously you want to get it looking nice. Oh my god, these animals, what are they doing? 
Okay. So that is that. Now what you might want to do, I didn't because I'm lazy, but what you can do is go over that with a top coat and cure. Now because I already have so many layers of stuff on these nails, I didn't want to have like millions of top coats on. So, I mean it's only this one that we're going to do anyway, but I didn't want to do a top coat and then add the stuff and then do another top coat if that makes sense. Because I am actually going to go over, you can see how thick this has ended up, but I am actually going to go over in a builder gel. So, I'm not going to go and cure it now. So, let's just get started now. I'm just going to get these out. Jasmine, be nice. They're always wanting to play with each other. So, it's just kind of up to you how you want to do it. Um, and just set them wherever you feel <laughs> like, really. So, should I do it similar to what I did on the other finger? Oh my god. And what I used, I just used the Kira Sky Dip Base to stick this down. You can bend them, it will be easier if you bend them a little bit. But because I'm gonna I am gonna go and cap, it it kind of works. And it kind of gives it more of a 3D effect when you can see that they're not set down to the nail, if that makes sense. This stuff is very strong. Um, but you just have to give it like a minute to kind of, to, to really stick it. And I think, I am gonna put a big one on, I think. I didn't use any of these little ties on the other finger. One thing to try and remember when you're doing this, or anything like this is, can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> um, your highest point of like gel or acrylic or whatever is gonna be in the middle bit here. So you don't want anything too far to the side, if that makes sense. Because it's gonna end up sticking out or getting filed, or you're not gonna be able to get the right shape of nail that you want and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna take a little one. And pop it just here. So I'm going to add some glary bits and stuff to the sides. So I'm just wanting to kind of focus this more in the middle. I want to have something silver, so I'm going to use, I'm going to put the Eiffel Tower in. I'm so sorry about the dogs, you guys. I have a silver star on my other finger. Ah. You see how it's sticking up there? Because that's towards the end of the finger. That's not a good thing. Yeah, that one's not going to work there because it's going to be too stuck out. I need to kind of bend it. Right, let's try it again. I think I'm going to have to kick the animals out of this room. Because they're actually driving me freaking mad. That's a bit there. See, it's stuck down more to the finger now, if that makes sense. And then I think I'm gonna leave it like that and then just go in with the glare, the bits of the glitter and that, which adds definitely adds some fun to it. I don't know if you would class steampunk as Halloween it, but it's a bit of fun and I thought, why not? So I'm going to use this, which actually does glow in the dark. And it's a gorgeous, like, silver, uh, gold, glit oh, this is so beautiful. You can get this from nails at network.co.uk and use my code for 5% off, which is just Idol Girl. I'm also going to use this gold glitter. You're only going to want to use a small brush for this. 
And what I kind of did was, I used the other acrylic to pick up the glitter as well, instead of instead of having like an extra, um, instead of just getting the clear out, I thought I'll just use this and it did work. So you can be really random with this. And just kind of add it wherever you kind of fancy it really. a little bit here I don't want to take away entirely from the rose gold. So we're not trying to totally cover it, but. See, I've put quite a bit more on this one, but I do really love that gold. And I forgot that it goes in the dark. And then the other day I was like, why, why is there some glowy bits on my nail? And that obviously is why. So it's literally as simple as that. And then what I'm going to do is cap in a builder drill. So I did just pop a little one of those thingamabobs on here. I'm going to use a different one on this one. I hope that the lighting's okay. I uh, must have, I think, the dimness, the brightness on my phone really low. So like, I can't see very well at all what I'm doing. On the camera so yeah that's just a cute little oh this stuff is so so strong you just have to let it dri like start to dry and it really does stick it down so I'm just gonna give that a minute to just properly set before I go in and cap so I'm using the Mia Secret Farmer Gel in clear it looks like that. And I'm using my Mia Secret brush, which I absolutely love. This is size eight. And I'm just gonna go in. Now, I don't wanna take too much. It's gonna be really hard to do this on camera. I also need to bear in mind at this stage that this chrome isn't like well and truly stuck down, if that makes sense. So I'm trying really carefully not to touch the chrome powder too much. I'm really sorry if I'm not very well in shot here guys. I don't even know if I'm in shot, you guys, but it's like so difficult to do this when you're filming on your saddle. Right, I'm just gonna turn it upside down and try and get the apex in place and we'll have a little look-see. I honestly love this stuff so much. So I've cured that and I'm now going to go in with the next one. 
I probably am using way too much product. But I just don't want to use too little that it, um, moves my glitter about or my chrome about or I've got way too much on here. Way, way, way too much. I do have to come off camera slightly just so I can see that I've covered the whole nail, if that makes sense. Okay. Now I just need that to go more in the apex. That was, see how quick that was? I am just, I love gel, it's so quick. And I do find, really, that I don't really need to, like, I'm probably not gonna file these. I didn't file the other ones. It just really self-levels itself so well. And I think that's looking pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see. And let's cure. So I'm quite happy with the shape of these. This one bores out at this side a little bit, um, which isn't ideal, but I'm in a bit of a rush. I don't have time to faff about and I'm happy with them as they are for the sake of this photo shoot. So I'm just gonna go straight in and top coat these with a no white. You wanna make sure that you get that crumb really covered. Otherwise, oh, I've got gel everywhere. <laughs> and just keep it nice and protected. You can even top coat the chrome bits twice if you want. I'm only gonna be having these on because obviously these are not a new set of nails. I'm just jigging up an old set. So I'm only gonna be having these on for like a week now. And then I will be doing some new ones. If this is a nice new set that you've done, I'm not even going to bother top coating them. I think I did. I think I did top coat the other hand. Oh. Oh wait, why am I top coating this one? Why am I top? I don't need to top coat that. Let's take that off because it's got loads of glitter in it as well. <gasps> what is going on with me today, my brain? Bloody hell. So I'm going to then cure wipe over the two gel nails that I did because they've got a sticky layer on them because we haven't put that top coat on but I just don't think there's any need oh apparently there is need to put the top coat on because it's not shiny without so let's do it there we go beautiful And cure! Doing a lot of flipping curing, aren't we? And that is the finished result. That is the nails all done. The shapes are not perfect, like I said. Um, the first, this one is better. This one's bored out there a little bit, but it doesn't bother me for the sake of the fact that I've only, I'm only gonna have these on a week and I needed to just do it really, really quickly. But I do really love the steampunk like style. Look, all the little bits, the little cogs and whatnot. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Well, not helpful, but I hope it was fun for you guys to watch if you're interested in doing just really very simple steampunk. There was it, this was a such, such an easy, quick set. Obviously, you would have needed like the base stuff that I that I already had done, but making them steampunk was very easy and fun i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did give me a thumbs up i love you so so much thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye